Another type of conditioning that builds on classical conditioning is known as operant conditioning. Operant conditioning is a learning procedure in which the consequences, such as obtaining a reward, of a particular behavior, such as pressing a bar, increase or decrease the probability of the behavior occurring again. So again, this learning procedure in which consequences, these consequences can be a reward or they can be a punishment, and then this reward or punishment would increase or decrease the probability of the behavior occurring again. Operant conditioning is also called instrumental conditioning. It uses positive and negative reinforcement, and it can also use something called positive punishment, which I'll get to in just a little bit. Positive and negative reinforcements are the most typically, typically used terms. Give you an example of positive reinforcement, and here's an example of negative reinforcement. Are you finished? Well, thank you. How thoughtful. Would you like a chocolate? Um, yeah, sure. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, sorry, Sheldon, I almost sat in your spot. Did you? I didn't know this. Have a chocolate. <laughs> thank you. You're here a lot now. Oh, am I talking too much? I'm oh, sorry. Zip. Thank you. Chocolate? Yes, please. Oh, hey, Kim. Yeah, I... You know what? Hold on. Let me take this in the hall. Okay. I know what you're doing. Really? Yes. You're using chocolates as positive reinforcement for what you consider correct behavior. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Chocolate? No, Sheldon, you can't train my girlfriend like a lab rat. <laughs> Actually, it turns out I can. Well, you shouldn't. There's just no pleasing you, is there, Leonard? You weren't happy with my previous approach to dealing with her, so I decided to employ operant conditioning techniques, building on the works of Thorndike and B.F. Skinner. Yet by this time next week, I believe I can have her jumping out of a pool, balancing a beach ball on her nose. No. This has to stop now. I'm not suggesting we really make her jump out of a pool. I thought the bazinga was implied. I'm just tweaking her personality. You're sanding off the rough edges, if you will. No, you're not sanding Penny. Are you saying that I am forbidden from applying a harmless, scientifically valid protocol that will make our lives better? Yes, you're forbidden. Bad, Leonard. <laughs> you know, using positive reinforcement techniques, I could train that behavior out of her in a week. No. If you let me use negative reinforcement, I can get done before we go to bed. You're not squirting her in the face with water. No, of course not. We're talking very mild electric shocks. <laughs> no tissue damage whatsoever. <laughs> Forget it! Oh, come on! You can't tell me that you're not intrigued about the possibility of building a better girlfriend. But I'm not! Penny's qualities, both good and bad, are what make her who she is. <laughs> you mean like that high-pitched, irritating laugh? Yes. You wouldn't prefer a throaty chuckle? You're not changing how Penny laughs. No, that would be incongruous. I was going to lower the whole voice to a more pleasing register. Oh, sorry, guys. That girl is freaky! <laughs> Come again? Freaky. Freaky? Yeah, freaky. <laughs> hey.
have a chocolate. Thank you. Well, I'm going to make some warm milk and then turn in. I trust if you two are planning on engaging in amorous activities, you'll keep the decibel level to a minimum. Of course. Thank you. Unbelievable. So Sheldon displays a number of instances of positive reinforcement in that video clip. Um, I do want to point out that uh, when he tries to um, use punishment with the spray bottle or when he alludes to using electric shock, those are not actually uh, negative reinforcement. Negative reinforcement is slightly different. And uh, to give you a better idea, We'll watch this next clip. Uh, of course, Big Bang is uh, prides itself on being quite scientifically accurate. And so a couple of people caught with the fact that some of the punishment that Sheldon was, the punishment um, styles that Sheldon was talking about, do not actually refer to negative reinforcement. Negative reinforcement is the removal of a positive stimulus. It's not the same thing as an acting punishment. So uh, some people think that they actually came up with this episode here to uh, sort of correct themselves. Some psychologists perform opera and conditioning with punishment. Maybe we can come up with a punishment for spraying off topic. Not getting to see who wins at Pigeon Ping Pong comes to mind. We could snap a rubber band on our wrists every time we get sidetracked. Not bad. You know, in medieval times, idle chatter was punished with a device called the Scold's Bridle. It's a, an iron cage that's locked around the head and pierces the tongue. <laughs> Only we had one. <laughs> oh, I'll check Amazon. Okay, so we agree. Whenever someone takes us off topic, they get their arm hair yanked off. And I really can't let that happen, or the girl who does my eyebrows will think I've been cheating on her. All right, now, one benefit of quantum coupling... Well, no, question. Who decides if someone's gone off topic? I think it'll be pretty clear. If not, we'll take a vote. Oh, also... Ow! <laughs> didn't vote. We didn't have to. That was clearly a tangent. Now, come on. Back to work. If we're leaning towards quantum coupling, then we should... Ah, quantum! <laughs> you said quantum coupling. That made me think of the show Quantum Leap. That's a tangent, and it's your fault. That's ridiculous. Sheldon, I vote that is not a tangent. Yeah, thank you. And now I owe you one. <laughs> that was your fault. Yay! <laughs> that is a lot of hair. <laughs> And now I'm going to hear it from Jenny. <laughs> Everyone stop. It's a stupid idea. Negative reinforcement isn't working. I think you mean positive punishment. Negative reinforcement is the removal of a positive stimulus. It's a common mistake. Negative reinforcement is really wrong? No, it's used incorrectly all the time. Even Bill Murray makes that mistake in the first scene of Ghostbusters. No way. Not Bill Murray. <laughs> I'm studying the effect of negative reinforcement on ESP ability. Huh. Bill Murray did get it wrong. <laughs> Jump ahead to the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. No! <laughs> <laughs> Leonard's right. We can't just jump ahead. We have to watch the whole movie. So, both of those videos demonstrate uh, how reinforcement whether it is positive reinforcement, negative reinforcement, or positive punishment, can affect behavior. What I want you guys to think about is that we actually engage in reinforcing behavior all the time. Uh, in our relationships with our parents, in our relationships with our significant others, if someone does something that we like, then we will often try to engage in some type of rewarding behavior. This can be giving them a compliment, this can be telling them thank you, this can be displaying warmth and affection in return, a hug, uh, all sorts of things. So we use positive reinforcement all the time and we oftentimes use negative reinforcement with our children 
sometimes positive punishment, which would basically be a spanking, but if you were to remove a positive stimulus, if you were to say, for example, this is probably something that your parents might have done, if you got a zero on a, an assignment or you didn't complete an assignment or you didn't do well, then they say, well, you wouldn't be able to go to a party, you would lose some screen time or computer time or your iPhone or something like that. That's an example of negative reinforcement. Examples of positive punishment would be giving a child a spanking, uh, fines that you would receive for late payments, fines for uh, reckless driving, tickets, uh, jail time would of course be an example of positive punishment. So the main idea is that Operant conditioning is a procedure in which the consequences of a particular behavior increase or decrease the probability of the behavior occurring again. So anytime you do something that would try to encourage a behavior from repeating itself, you are engaging in operant conditioning. Anytime you engage in a behavior that would discourage uh, someone engaging in a particular behavior again, you would also be engaging in operant conditioning.